Hey guys, welcome back to Up on the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. Now, if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about Disney Pixar's 24th installment, Luca. <laughs> Now, Luca is currently streaming on Disney Plus. It is incorporated within your Disney Plus subscription, so you don't have to pay that lovely 30 extra bucks. Now, on a side note, in December, I think that's when I did it in December when Soul came out, I did rank the 23 at the time uh, Pixar movies. I'll go ahead and link that little card up here if you would like to check that out. I don't think I'm going to rank the Pixar movies now with Luca. Maybe at the end, I'll let you know where I'll kind of incorporate it in. I'll probably probably do it again next year because we are going to get two new Pixar movies in 2022 and I believe this year we're only getting Luca. I could be mistaken, you know, don't don't quote me on that, but I think I think it's I think we're we are only getting the one this year. So I'll let you know more so where I rank Luca within the 24 now movies uh, later on in the review. Now Pixar has done it again. This is one very very good looking movie. It has of course a positive message of finding yourself, accepting yourself regardless of what society may think of you. We are dealing with sea creatures who when they come to land they do become real boys. Seeing beautiful animation, I mean, right off the bat, I was just like, the colors are just spectacular. We are following Luca, who is a young boy. We don't really know too much about him, too much about his world down in the sea, in the water. Um, He is like a fish herder it seems like instead of you know sheep we got some fish who are not the smartest kind of um creatures i mean fish <laughs> whatever we do see part of this world but we really don't see too much like i wish we got more of the underground version of how his life really is i mean i'm assuming they're like farmers or like shepherds fish shirts I don't know <laughs> you know just because we do see the neighbors kind of doing where they're like uh, cr uh, cropping like the seaweed and stuff like that like they're like farm seaweed herders <laughs> I don't know you guys whatever I'm putting too much into it um so we really don't get too much of his world underwater we just kind of get a glimpse we don't really go too much into the transformation of sea creature to human like what how i guess would better be a better question how are they able to transform that's never really answered or really asked i guess it's just something that happens you know like they just know that if you go up into the world you go on dry land you become human but I guess you could just say I'm nitpicking. It's one of those things that you really don't ask. No questions. I wish we did get some sort of something. Whether it had been maybe in the human world, um, they did mention um the young girl. Oh god, I'm terrible. I know I'm terrible with names. She wasn't kind of like a little book nerd. It would have been kind of cool if she knew about the sea creatures and knew about their history could have been like yeah can you imagine like they can be walking among us and they're you know kind of explaining the transformation portion at that part at that point that would have been pretty interesting but honestly that's pretty much my only real dislike about the movie it is a really really cute movie i know i kind of yeah no if you're new you guys i always go all over the place i have no real structure i just kind of hope that you take it as i'm your friend telling you about this movie and i feel like this is how an actual person would tell you about a movie oh actually i do have one other kind of dislike about the movie the villain in here definitely one of pixar's weakest villains not memorable he really is a bit of an ass and i'm not totally sure how old he's supposed to be i mean he said he was 16 but apparently he has been 16 for quite some time so but he looked like he was 30. he was a bully at the end i mean well i mean i guess a villain for kids right would be a bully but 
yeah, I really wasn't. But I do love the idea that we were in Italy. One of the things that I do love about Pixar is that they have originality. Disney just kind of likes to recycle all their shit and do the same thing and do remakes. And Pixar, even though they are part of Disney, are more on the original front. We do get more of those original stories. I know I'm not really lying to you guys. This is not one of Pixar's strongest movies unfortunately which sucks because I was really looking forward to this movie this was one of my anticipated movies of 2021 it feels like it's gonna be one of those that may get lost within the Pixar bunch even though there are only 24 movies now before I do give you my overall ranking and placement of Luca within the 24 movies if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Like I said, it is a beautiful movie to look at. It has a really great message. The animation is just spectacular. I mean, it's a really nice original story. Pixar, again, does not let you down with the look and the feel and the tone. The voice, did I mention the 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 voiceovers? I mean, they were on point. Like, I feel everybody was cast perfectly with everything i mean i love me some um jacob trimley i mean that little kid i love him maya rudolph is also one of the voices and i think everybody did great the music just everything overall was wonderful i do love that we are in this beautiful italian location but unfortunately it does fall a little bit short but even though with all that said i am still going to give it a medium popcorn now within the 24 movies i am going to rank this one actually you know what let me go get my book i guess i should have had that here that would have been smart one moment please okay guys so i uh, let me find this is like my youtube video idea list book okay so um i will put it uh, maybe I should do another ranking video, you guys. I'm looking at my list. And I kind of disagree with my list now. <laughs> but, uh, Luca, oh my God, this video is going longer than it should have. I will put Luca at number, at number 12. So, yes, within the 24, I would put it at number 12. No, maybe 13. <laughs> Okay, I would rank it between 12 and 15. <laughs> I'm looking at my list and I'm like, okay, no. Yes, no. So between 12 and 15 is where I would put Luca at. I'm just not 100% sure. I should have been more prepared. But if you know me, you know I'm hardly ever prepared. If you're new, I'm not the most prepared person there is. But hopefully you're okay with that like a more normal looking you know person here just reviewing a movie well talking about a movie right my own this is my own personal opinion uh but either way girls those are my thoughts that's my ranking and that's kind of where i would put more so luca within the 24 uh movies here um you can see a more structured <laughs> ranking video here well you know at this point i'll put it um at the end you know, one of those slides at the end. Um, you can check that one out after this one. But if you are interested in an updated uh, Pixar movie, uh, not Pixar movie, an updated Pixar ranking list, let me know down below and I'll do that for you as well. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions.